Hey guys, welcome back to Rick's Flix. We're at Epcot again for another festival, this time Flower and Garden. So what are we waiting for? Adventure is out there and it's starting right now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do when we get an Epcot festival is we gotta go grab a passport so we can see what's going on. Before we get too far into this vlog about the Flower and Garden, there's something I wanna note about the future plans for Epcot. So there have been permit filings for like work to be done on the west end of the parking lot and it's a pretty solid bet that they're gonna put in a new hotel at the entrance of Epcot. Okay, so here's the plan for today. We're gonna check out some topiaries, we're gonna grab some snacks, and we're gonna ride a very popular ride. I think what I'm gonna do is, at the very end of the video, I'm gonna do a music montage of all the topiaries at day and night. Okay, so this year's Flower and Garden I think is really interesting. It's got a very vintage feel for the 25th anniversary. True. Um, you know, they brought back the orange bird, which is one of my favorite characters. And then also, if you look here on Donald, he's got a bee on him. Well, what that bee represents is that bee's name is actually Spike. And they're actually having like an Easter egg hunt to try to find Spike. Yes, kind of a, yeah, like a Spike hunt yeah. <laughs> through all the topiaries. And supposedly what the deal is is that Spike is a vintage character from Disney. Disney. and he often tormented Donald in the 1940s and 50s cartoons so I think that's why they kind of brought him back this year is for that again vintage feel so he um, was an antagonist to Donald yes right? yes and Pluto too supposedly so, yeah. so I thought it was really cute really creative to pull those icons from you know from past days hello folks hello. how you doing good, good. Happy, happy, flower happy flower and garden happy flower and garden that's the stuff <laughs> She got me. <laughs> Hello. We do this every time. Nikki, can you give me butterfly wings? I sure will. All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> so cute. Looks like we have a little wedding party here today. Congratulations. Thank you. So FYI, depending on when you come to Flower and Garden, you'll see different things. The gardeners here at Disney, they plant the flowers according to like when they're gonna bloom and blossom, right Nikki? Right, so you'll have different flowers in the early spring exactly. versus late spring. Right, so depending yeah. on when you come, you'll see a little bit of different view. Exactly. They'll come multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> and as usual, we have the floating flowers here at Epcot. Very lovely with the monorail in the background, the flowers and the spaceship Earth. So this area here, just to the right, just as you enter World Showcase, this is the best spot for festivals. They always do this one upright. Right now they're doing it as the Honey Bistro, but every festival they do this spot up to the T. I like that they're, again, playing off Spike the Bee too with the whole Bistro area. It's very creative, I love it. I mean, just take a look around. This Bistro area is just so cute and well, well done. Just as a side note, Rick and I both suffer from allergies. Um, the worst time of the year for allergies in Florida is technically March, April, May. So if you're coming to the Flower Garden Festival, you might want to do like us if you suffer from allergies. We took a little bit of Claritin before we came over just because the pollen and um, all the blooms, it smells beautiful and wonderful. But man, if you're an allergy sufferer, it's difficult. Yeah, it's that time of year here in Florida for me. Exactly. Yeah. And just a little side note, my favorite Disney character is Tigger. And here he is in topiary form. <laughs> here in the United Kingdom, Nikki, there's rumored that they're going to build a small attraction here. Really? Yeah, not an e-ticket, not a big attraction, but it's rumored to be probably Brave. Not Mary Poppins, you would think Mary Poppins, oh. but the rumor is that they may add a Brave attraction here in the United Kingdom. Oh, I would love that. You know, we're partial to redheads in our family, and Brave is a great movie. I love it. Okay, Nikki, the fairy homes are back. And I keep saying, I would like one of these. If we did a garden, I want a fairy home. Yes, I agree. I like them a lot. I'm glad they brought them back again this year. And it's so appropriate with Tinkerbell. If only having a garden wasn't so much work, I'd do it. <laughs> right, exactly. We can grow weeds. <laughs> and look at this one here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Huh, that's really creative. Holy smokes, what is this squirrel doing?
as if Captain Hook doesn't have a hard enough time fighting Peter Pan. He's got to fight off the squirrel. Okay guys, so don't forget, they are building a Ratatouille attraction on the back side of the French Pavilion. Now there's already one in Disneyland Paris, so this one is going to be very similar, if not exactly like that one. I don't know, Nick. I mean, Ratatouille ride, it might be a cute little ride. I'm in favor of more rides at Epcot, so... Yeah, I think so. I like the movie. I yeah. mean, and it's a cute little character, and it has like a nice basis, you know, for like the moral of the story. So, about following your dreams. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I really like it. So, I think it'd be a great addition. Yeah, more rides the better, I say. Yeah. Hey, Nick, let's take a break, and let's listen to the drums, and look at these bonsai trees. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Okay, Nick, you know, I've kind of poo-pooed this idea of eating at Epcot, the little kiosk, but, you know, maybe I've been a little harsh on that. Yeah, we thought it changed a thought, I think, right? Yeah, I understand that, you know, the idea of just getting sample sizes, they want you to try different things. I'm still a little upset about the pricing. I still think it's a little too high for the portions, but let's go ahead and get some snacks here today, too. Okay, the first stop of the day for food is going to be for me. We're going to stop at the smokehouse. So I'm going to get the beef brisket, burnt ends, and smoked pork belly slider. Nikki, you can have the pickles. So there we go. New for this year, the burnt ends pork belly slider. You know what sold me on this, Nikki? What? The sausage. <laughs> it's a work of art. But I know you like pickles, so that's all you. All right, thanks. Okay, Nikki, are you going to ask me how my slider was? How was your slider? Well, the burnt end slider is new this year, and I'm glad it is. It was awesome. It was told I wish I had more. Really? Yeah, it was oh. so, so good, but let's get a little variety. Let's go get something for you now. I know. I'm hoping that the Italy Pavilion has the same thing that they had last year, Flower Garden. Yeah. So, um, fingers crossed that I can get the same thing, because I really liked it last year. Well, let's go check it out. Okay. Any luck at the kitchen, Nikki? No, they don't have it this year. You have, the, you have the worst luck with food. Let's go try Germany or someplace else. Let's okay. go. Okay, so here's what we got from Germany. It's a smorgasbord. That, and that's a German word, right? I think so. That's appropriate then. <laughs> Holy, you know, the main reason I stopped at Germany was for the strudel. But hey, I'm gonna have some of this other stuff too. Let's chow down, Nick. It's time to get serious for Nikki. She's putting her hair back. She's gonna wreck some of this food. <laughs> she is not messing around. She's got her hair back. She is ready to chow down. Okay, Nick, what did you think about our Germany lunch? It was fabulous start to finish. Let's start with the potato pancake. Um, we did the savory side of it. So we had the ham and the caramelized onions and it was delicious. And the, what was this, the sour cream on it? Oh, the sour oh cream. Gosh. German sour cream is the best. Seriously, totally it is. Um, and then we did the pretzel. The pretzel was fantastic because it had, what was the meat on it? Was it again uh, another ham? Yeah, I think it was a ham. Yeah, and then um, it had the softness and the, uh, the creaminess of the cheese and then the, you know, the fresh break baked pretzel. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. good. Good. My gosh, like I didn't want it to end. <laughs> Everybody was like, oh, I'm getting closer to the end. <laughs> and then, well, when you get to the end, we get to dessert. Yes. Oh, okay. So last year we did the strudel and we, he was very upset because we shared it. So this year we got our own and, um, oh. I think the is, strudel was better this year. I think so too. No. Oh my gosh. I think there was a little bit, it was the, the filling that, um, the cheesy filling. Yeah, yeah. I think there was more of that. It was cheesier. It was cheesier. And then um, the compote, the mixed berry compote on there was so good this year too. Oh, yeah. I don't know what they put in it, but it was Germany amazing. is the best. Germany is the best. Okay, with that delicious meal out of the way, Nikki, I know you've been wanting to hit up some of this merchandise. Let's go check out the orange bird. Yes, I can't wait. Right next to the Germany food, just to the left, the festival market. This is where we're gonna check out this orange bird stuff. It's gonna be so hard for Nikki to resist this. So this is the men's ringer tee for $32.99. I like it. I like the blue one better. We'll check that out in a second. Um, and we love the orange bird. This is one of our favorite little hidden, lesser known characters. I know you have a comment about this hat. 
Does anybody see waffles when they see the orange um, <laughs> like icon for the ear? I do, Nikki. It looks like Eggo waffles. It does. It is looks like a, waffles. Is this a flower and garden hat or a Stranger Things hat? Ooh. Uh, you know how Eleven yeah, likes waffles, right? That's so. right. That's right. How much is this uh, waffle right. hat? Even though we would never own this waffle hat. <laughs> no. How much is it? $32.99. All right, now let's look at the blue t-shirt. This is the one I really like. Oh, I like it too. But it's a girl's. It's a girl's cut. If it was like a guy's t-shirt, I would totally get this. I might have to get it for me then. <laughs> and how much is it? This one is $32.99. Okay, so here's the actual orange bird doll. And how much is that? About 13 bucks? $13.95. Alright, that's a little pricey to get for our dog Winnie. We usually no, keep that around. Oh, for me. Oh, for you, yeah. <laughs> but we usually get our dog Winnie these little toys, but 13 bucks is too much for a dog toy. Oh, this is the other blue t shirt we really like. Yes. It's just the orange bird is not as prominent on this one. Exactly. But it's still really cute though, because I love it because it's from Florida, fresh pick from Florida, and yeah. then. So let's see, 20, 30 bucks. Yeah, $29.99. Yeah. But it's super cute though. I wish the orange bird was on this one. Yeah, you Because this is my style. Yeah, totally. you like the baseball tees. I do. This one actually is really kind of cute. It's $34.99. All right, we gotta check out the tumblers. All right, so there's the front. Yeah. But look at the back. Oh, it's got a bunch of orange birds on it. <laughs> oh, man. 20 bucks, Nikki. How can you resist? I wasn't going to get it, but when I turned it and saw the back, I'm like, oh, I almost have to have this. It's kind of small. You like bigger ones, though. Yeah, I kind of wanted the bigger one. Shoot. I like how they have the orange bird in orange crates. So clever. Oh, my goodness. We love the orange birds. Just a little. <laughs> okay, she's doing it. She's buying some orange bird merch. What you holding there, Nikki? I'm holding. Did you buy yourself a little something? I did. You cannot resist that orange bird, can you? I got the shirt. And no, honestly, I want this for work. He just makes me so happy. Yeah. He's just a happy little bird. We love, love the orange him. bird. We love him. <laughs> and I'm not giving him to Winnie. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Winnie. Okay, as we were checking out the receipt from our purchase, we discovered he only charges for the orange bird. Yeah. So even though Disney makes a lot, a lot of money off us, let's go do the right thing and get charged for the t-shirt. Yep, I think so. Okay, so here we are coming back to get charged for the t-shirt. Okay, take two, Nikki. Can't have you walk around wearing that shirt feeling guilty. Exactly. <laughs> well, anyway, proud of you, honey. Good job. <laughs> okay. Maybe the kids will learn a lesson from you out there. <laughs> How do you keep getting taller? You keep stepping up at all these little interviews now. I know, I gotta take my opportunities when I can. You're cheating, you're cheating. I am greatly hey, challenged. We almost forgot. We got a fast pass for the Frozen ride. Yes, Frozen! Unbelievable. Yay. Last night I was just sitting in front of my computer, hitting the refresh button, hit refresh, hit refresh. Oh, were you? Yeah, I was, and oh. finally <laughs> Frozen popped up, so, you know, let's go do it. Yes, absolutely, I love that ride. So I guess, Nikki, that could be a Rick's Tricks, right? Just keep hitting that refresh button. You never know what's going to happen. Exactly. A new Rick's trick. Rick's trick. Thank you. And as a point of reference, stand by 65 minutes right now. Here we go. Nothing wrong with mixing in a little Elsa and Anna during our flower and garden, right? That's right. Because you know my rule, if you're at a theme park, you gotta ride a ride. That's true. Yeah. Now that trick about refreshing the Fast Pass, that's worked before. Remember our daughter Caitlin and her boyfriend when Flight of Passage first opened up? Oh yeah, that's right. They didn't get like four tickets. I know, they just, for like 30 minutes, they hit that refresh button on the Fast Pass till <laughs> finally they got a Fast Pass for Flight of Passage. Maybe we shouldn't let that be a trick. We should keep it to ourselves. I know, right? <laughs> you guys can have it. That's the Rick's Tricks for you. Yeah. So fun fact, surrounding the frozen topiaries is a plant called Snow on the Mountain. So we'll insert a picture right there. Yeah. Uh, we actually used to have some snow on the mountain in our yard. Yes, very easy to grow um, and very tolerant actually in Florida. So, and it's a really pretty oh, plant. Very pretty. It, yeah, it's pinks and um, like burgundies and greens. So it's very appropriate to have it in here. What Norway with frozen Elsa and Anna. So absolutely, they That's think really of good. everything here. Yeah, isn't? I like it a lot. All right, see this Viking here. <laughs> Let's see who got bigger muscles. This guy or me? Oh, I don't know, babe. 
you might have you. Video, look at you. Uh oh. You gotta. <laughs> Show the guns. <laughs> I'm not worried about this one. I'm not worried about that one. Oh! Look at that. I don't know. I think he's got you, babe. <laughs> What are these? Deep purple ones. These are orchids. Um, and they're planted within the tree, the palm trees, and they just grow and hang down so beautifully. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're stunning this year. Yeah. This is one of your favorite things from at Epcot. Yeah, on all three of the trees. Yeah. Oh. So just to give you a better idea where the orchids are located, we have the Mayan pyramid right over here, and then just to the right, this is where you want to see the orchids. Okay, Nick, I think I have the orchids in the background, but I want to mention, now that we're in the Mexico Pavilion, is that we just saw the movie Coco, didn't we? Yes, honestly, I was pleasantly surprised. I did not, I was not expecting it to be so good. Yeah, we waited to rent it. We didn't go see it in the theaters. Yeah. But, since we're in Mexico, there's a long-standing rumor that they're going to re-theme that ride with Donald Duck and the, uh, what, three caballeros? Caballeros. Caballeros. <laughs> I, I'm a gringo, whatever. So they're going to rethink that ride to be Coco. And I think with the success of that movie, that's really going to happen. So we're going to start having a lookout for more Coco in this pavilion. Yeah, I mean, it's such a great movie. I think that it would be a wonderful addition to the ride. I mean, I'll totally miss the traditional, you know, Three Caballeros, but yeah. yeah. I like new stuff, so whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, you really like those orchids, don't you? Yeah, I took way too many pictures. <laughs> I think I have like 50 pictures now. Yeah. Oh my god. Truly one of the hidden treasures here at Epcot. Yes, absolutely. Okay, Nikki, my honest opinion, I think this is one of the best topiaries that they have here. I would agree. It's really bright and um, very, how can I explain it? It shows a lot of emotion. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess so. Not yeah. really. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by emotion. <laughs> I, don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Never. I'm just saying it looks good. Fine, they look good. good. I mean, they all look good, but I think this one just for some reason really pops. I don't. I don't know why. I'm not the artist. They might look good on a rock, though. <laughs> Do that. I'm commissioning you to a rock of the orange bird and these guys. <laughs> what? It's hard. I'll be the orange bird, though. And here's another festival shop. Let's see if we can not buy anything in this one, Nick. Okay, you guys know I like mugs, and this would be a perfect mug for Nikki and her cucumber lemon ginger juice that I make at night for her to help her go to sleep. I'm gonna get this for you right now. It's like 14 bucks. That's a pretty good price for a theme park mug. Let's get it. Okay, as promised, we are getting Nikki that mug for her nighttime juice. There you go, one mug. <laughs> Well, there you go, Nikki. Thanks, honey. Another mug for your nighttime juice, cucumber, lemon, and ginger. And you got your orange bird stuff you're making out today. I know. I didn't know I was going to get so lucky. Wow. And also at this festival shop, it's the one right uh, before you get into Mexico. So as you enter World Showcase, go to your left. This has all the pass holder merchandise, your t-shirts, anything that you get as a pass holder, this is where you can purchase it. How about a drink? Nikki already knows she likes this green tea berry mint. But check out the hidden Mickey they do with the blueberries. Oh, the cleverness never ends. But you know what does end? This vlog. I have spent way too much money here at this flower and garden. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And now it's time to relax. To a topiary montage.